Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Friday, September 30th, and we just got back from vacation a little bit ago, like 20 minutes ago. So it was a nice relaxing trip, but we were very excited about what was in the kiln. So we just popped it open and thought we'd do a really quick video. I hope you enjoy it. I have a, two new lines of things that I'm doing, and um, this first piece is a bowl. Um, the, uh, I will show you, I'll get right down to it and just plain show you. How's that? Hmm? Trying to figure out, ah, there it is. Okay. So, uh, this is the new bowl and this blue coral, this whole entire line is going to have the coral always be similar to every piece. So I have a platter, a casserole, and this bowl, and each one will have the blue coral, and in the centers will be a different shell of types. Like this is an oyster with a pearl in it. So I think they came out really nice. Um, the porcelain, of course, you know how I think it, I just think it's so beautiful. There's no glaze, that's clear glaze over it and hand painted, but I'm quite happy. Um, I'm very happy. So that will be at Franklin Square Gallery next week. And this is a practice piece. I'm going to bring this right up close because um, I don't know if you can see it, but that's slip. So um, Ann Ruling uh, showed this and uh, it's a combination of slip and underglaze and colors and I wanted to play with it and see what I could do and this is really quite simple I think you can see the texture better that way that looks pretty good there you can see how the texture pushes it in so and um, I like that I like that uh, direction I think uh, I could do something with that okay so that is a test piece piece line number two and why am I doing these lines? I think that, uh, you know, it, it gets hard. Pottery is expensive to make and it's expensive to buy. But um, I don't know about you, but I personally like um, my pieces to go together. I like the platter, the ca casserole dish, the bowls, the serving things to all match. And I think that gives it a really nice look, but um, I think the more affordable way to go is to do something like this. So see, this is a um, nice big casserole dish. And it's a good uh, two and a half inches deep, about 12 inches long, I think about 10 inches wide. And these uh, dots are slip trailed. I'll bring it over for you to see. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> So this design um, tracks down. I, I just saw it and fell in love with it and thought, oh, I'm going to do that. I like this. I think it's so very pretty. So this is the casserole dish. And then I have in here, I believe I have the platter. It came out pretty nice. I'm liking this stuff. I'm hoping you do. I think they look really quite nice. Careful. Okay. Oh. This is really quite nice. <sighs> All right. Back to the blue coral. This is the casserole dish to the blue coral. And so again, as I said, the blue coral will be always on top. And then there will be a different um, dish or a uh, seashell pattern again. So you can see they all would go together and look, I think, so pretty. I am very pleased. I always say, oh, I should keep this. 
if I was going to, this would be a piece I'd definitely keep. I think these are, I love the handles. I like how they came out. They're nice. I hope you approve. I know that came out so nice. Okay, so there's not a lot in here because these pieces were pretty big and filled up the kiln. So, uh, and we didn't get to a full cone six. It's a five and a half. So the six is over, but not to where it should be. It should be about here. So unfortunately the top shelf is not a six and uh, we don't quite know why. There we go. You would take that one. Oh, now this one's a six. Wow. Gosh, it's pretty. Ah. So this is the platter that goes to the casserole dish and the other seashell. And um, I think it came out lovely. So you can see this is much deeper than this one. And um, oh goodness, I think they're really quite attractive. I like it. <laughs> We'll have to see. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I'll bring this up to the camera so you can see it even better. Um, isn't that neat? So I like the coral on the edges. I think I like the more intense coral color, but either way, they're really nice. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. Mm. Dang. Huh. <sighs> I can't believe I made that with my own two hands. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Pretty nice. Darn. Okay. And then the last piece is coming up next. Uh, there you got, and that's a full six. See, it goes right across there. So that's a nice six in the middle. And here we go. Another whole one. Let me get some rid of some of these. Oh, I got some cleaning up to do. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. I'll give this to you. Wow. It's really nice. <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, uh, well, that didn't work. Damn it. I had a crack and I repaired it, but the crack still came through. So unfortunately... This will be mine. <laughs> That's where cast off go. Cast off goes to my house. So you can see, I will have to remake this. See, I had hoped, but there you can see where the crack did not replace. I could fuss with it more, but why? It's fine. I'm going to make it for myself. And um, that's just what it'll be. It's quite a pretty piece, unfortunately. Not perfect, <laughs> but that's okay. So you can see the difference between the two. The height difference is quite dramatic. I'll bring them over mm -hmm. so you can see. So this is much taller and this is more shallow. Um, might make this in a size up, a little longer. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But he is definitely mine. He's not going anywhere. Too bad. Okay. Oh, and then I have some test tiles of new glazes I purchased. This is, I didn't have a, this is a six. So this is called Grass Green. And I think it's a Mako, uh, no, Amico color. Different. Hmm. So this is one coat. So that's one coat. There's two. And then there's a full three. At three coats, I think it's kind of pretty. Not as glassy as I would like. It has like a little orange peeling. Can you see that? Like there's a, a degree of orange peel and I don't know why. I don't care for that. Hmm. So that's that one. And then this is, <clears throat> oh, this is, hmm, I forget who this is by. 
Who does it say? Oh, it's um, Power Turquoise. That's what this is, Power Turquoise. Boy, that's beautiful with three colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, with three coats, it's just lovely. Um, here it is with Flux. I'm not impressed. But this is with Gunmetal Green, and that's what I was going for, that look right there. So I'm going to be doing this combination here, which is um, two coats of Power Turquoise and one coat of Gunmetal Green. And I think that combination is just stunning. I love the runniness. I don't see any flux on it. Yeah, so that's going to be, ooh, that's going to be coming to a bowl soon. Wow, I love that. Do you like that, Dan? Mm -hmm. I think that's really pretty. Uh, so that's the Power Turquoise. And where'd the other piece go? Let's see here. That's Grass Green, Power Turquoise. And who are you? Ooh, that's gunmetal green. Wow, I wonder how everybody else gets it so pretty. Mine's ugly. <laughs> huh, look at that. I, I don't think that's very pretty in, at all. Huh, but combined. Hmm. Yeah. So isn't that strange? that this as a base with this on top makes that. Now that's so glassy and so pretty. And this looks so matte and dull, but it sure is pretty together. My new combination. Hmm. Okay. So that's it for today's um, kiln unloading. And as always, the kiln gods gives a teeny bit of heartache to a lot of joy. So um, here's hoping the kiln gods find joy in me. <laughs> you have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.